This is the Trout Bitten Podcast. Trout Bitten. Trout Bitten? Trout Bitten. Trout Bitten. Trout Bitten. Yeah. Trout Bitten. Trout Bitten. It's about trout. Wild trout. This is Trout Bitten. We're still talking fly. (laughs) Bill, just go ahead, get it out of the way. Doesn't matter. (laughs) <laughs> you just throw <laughs> throw anything out there as long as it's big. I don't fish junk. Uh, honestly, I'm probably amongst all you guys. I probably fish junk flies the least. I disagree. Sure. I bet I fish less junk flies mm-hmm. than you do. Really? I don't even have any. Oh, man. Wow. So what, what do you guys consider a junk? I mean, would you consider a green weenie a junk fly? Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then that. Uh, then it, yeah. Then if that's considered a junk fly, I'm a yeah. green weenie. Above and beyond is probably the, the second most popular fly I catch fish on. I disagree. That's not a junk fly. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Mm-hmm. That, okay standard that, that, that changes things then. Has its place in a traditional yeah. lineup. Yeah, me too. But I still call it a junk fly. Tell me why it's junk. Because it's chartreuse. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> <of what? Yeah. laughs> so it's right. a caddis fly that comes out of that case. All right. But then in that in that same vein, then then an egg is is not a junk fly. I agree. Okay, so is it just well, but then a what a I mean, a worm is just a worm. Right, right. Along those same yeah. lines, every ju- what I call junk fly in my box in my box represents or looks a heck of a lot like something that the trout are very used to eating. That green weenie looks like a Rhychophilia larva. Um, it also, of course, looks like uh, inchworms in the summertime. The egg, mm-hmm. of course, looks like an egg. Uh, you know, the, squ- the squirmy worm looks like an aquatic worm. They all okay. look like something. Let me reframe my argument then. <laughs> anyway, I call them all, all those. I call them junk flies. Put them off in there too. <laughs> they got a crazy bright mm-hmm. color for the majority of the body. They're all super easy to tie. Does it have something to, I mean, is that why we call it a junk fly? Or is it just that it's so flashy? And- I think it's a junk fly because it, do- it doesn't represent necessarily represent a mayfly or, you know, your traditional representation of a caddis fly, something like that. Perhaps it is oddly colored. I considered a junk fly once upon a time, something that was tied with a non-traditional mm. uh, material, like that wasn't sold in a fly shop. Mm. So, but now the fly shops have moved on to selling mop flies, to yeah. sell, like to selling the, the worms and stuff. Right. Like once upon a time, some of that stuff wasn't something you would buy at a fly shop. That's a good point. I mean, that's a good way of looking at it. 